And this is where Britain's top commentators speak out on controversial issues without the fear of the cancel culture sweeping the rest of the media. And Princess Diana's former private secretary, Patrick Jepson, has made a dramatic intervention into the reign of King Charles, powerfully arguing in the mail that the king still has sins to atone for, hinting at his behaviour during his marriage to Diana. And following the passing of Queen Elizabeth last year, Jepson admits that the words God save the king came to his lips reluctantly. Now, one man who witnessed firsthand King Charles' strange relationship with the princess is her former butler and the man she famously described as her rock, Paul Burrell. So, Paul, uh, this was sort of Patrick Jepson expressing the feelings of many who still do feel a sense of unease about the reign of King Charles. For some time, Paul, you were very angry with Charles, but is it time we move on from the acrimony over the life and death of your friend, the People's Princess? Well, Dan, you know, and everyone listening to this show knows that um, uh, um, Diana's colours are nailed to my mast. They always will be. She's very close to my heart. And she will be the person that forever haunts the House of Windsor. We cannot forget what she has struggled through, what she achieved in her short lifetime, and how she suffered. It was an ugly situation. I was there. I heard it. I saw it. I was part of it. Um, but despite the broken china, the rows, the tears, everything else, I believe we must move on for the sake of the monarchy. I'm a monarchist, but um, I do find it so difficult to sing God Save Our Gracious King after the passing of our dear late Queen. It's too fresh and too new for me. But I know I have to join this, this gang of people for a short time across this bridge to get to William and Kate, who are waiting on the other side. Could be 20 years. I know years that Diana would want, she'd want me to do that. 10 years. 10 years, I think, we'll have to wait for King William and Queen Catherine. And I know that Diana would want me to stay true. She'd want me to stand close to William and Kate and help them over that bridge. Um, I'm not saying that I'm... I, because, of course, my Paul, Diana is... never wanted Charles to be king, but do you think if she was still alive today, she would have changed her view? Um, she would support him because she was a monarchist, and I, I believe she was gracious enough to, to actually hold his hand and, and help him along the way. She would have been an incredible asset to the royal family, alongside Kate and William, um, but that's not to be. But okay. we can't forget what happened, Dan. Um, but we must cross the bridge to help the monarchy survive. OK, now, Paul, Prince Harry kicked off the Invictus mm -hmm. Games in Dusseldorf this weekend with an assured opening ceremony speech while also appearing on yep. German national TV. Watch this, Paul. Good Abend, zusammen und herzlich willkommen zu den Invictus Games 2023 here in Dusseldorf. Now, I'm not saying we play favourites in our home, but since my wife discovered that she is of Nigerian descent, it's likely to get a little bit more competitive this year. I said, are you ready? Let's do this. Thank you. So, Paul, I really do feel, even as a critic of Prince Harry, that the Invictus Games is his big achievement in life. It's what all of his focus should really be on. Do you think the Duke has salvaged his damaged reputation at all over the past couple of days? I think the Invictus Games is a wonderful vehicle for, for Harry to showcase our wounded servicemen and service women. He's doing an excellent job there. Of course he is. Um, praise to him. But, you know, um, don't forget what's happened. Um, he's, he's thrown his family under the bus. He's, he's washed dirty, linen, dirty laundry in public. He's turned his back on this country, on the people of this country. And he deeply upset his grandmother, our queen, on her deathbed. And recent history is very difficult to forgive. I think it will take a very long time before Harry is embraced again here in this country. But it's interesting, isn't it, that Meghan wasn't standing by his side on this occasion. Apparently, she's going to be there later on because they're keeping their brands very separate. This is a, this is a power couple in Hollywood who are making millions whilst people in this country 
are suffering a, a cost of living crisis. Now, think about it. And they continue to whinge and whine about their lot. Yeah. I, I can't, I just can't, I just can't deal with it, Dan. I can't. Um, I, if I was a school teacher, I'd give him six out of 10 for trying, but he must try harder. I think a lot of people share your view. Paul Burrell, thank you so much, Paul. We'll speak very soon.